Whoa, my face is like so white right now. Oh my gosh, so much makeup, so little time. All right, I think I'm just gonna end it here. I'm basically done. There's nothing else for me to do. I've given up. Okay, primer's on. What's next? So I have this foundation that I've never used. I also have this professional for minimizing makeup. I'm really digging in there. It's really interesting whenever I do my makeup for actual things I always think like it's so obvious that I'm wearing makeup because it looks really cakey so this is the concealer that I used and it's in number two we'll use this pore stuff I don't know how I got so excited about makeup once upon a time, and now I don't use it at all. I think something prompted me to, um, like, have a, like, a staple makeup set, and the only things that I have from that are the mascara, the blush, and that's it. Soft blur. I want to use this brush because that's what I've seen people do online, but I also know that I'm going to be using this brush for contouring or blush, so... This kind of reminds me of when I um, competed in a pageant. There was a lot of makeup that was involved at that time. Is that why I got my makeup set? I'm not really sure, but... It was funny because all of the girls there knew how to do their makeup and I was just like, I don't, I don't know. But I think I also learned a lot of makeup things from that time in my life. The only thing that I know that I am really excited about is this palette. And this was given to me by my sister because yeah, I'm excited about this palette because it is from what I know, black owned. Um, something that I usually try to do is go with lighter colors first because I have a limited set of brushes. So so the, the order would be highlighter, blush, contour, instead of contour with like a brown powder, then red, and then try to mix that in with like a, a lighter, a whiter powder. Also looking at my face, I can see that my eyebrows are not plucked which is a dilemma for every time I want to do my makeup but when I don't do my makeup I'm just like I don't really care about my eyebrows right on to my unplucked eyebrows so this using this The one tip that I got was to put a lot of highlighter on the tip of your nose. My brows, I have two of these gimme brows and I probably should have given one to my friend. And I think for me it's really nice because I think I have really nice brows. Like I actually have hair on my eyebrows, which is also probably another reason why I don't pluck them because I'm afraid. My mom's told me that if I pluck my eyebrows, they're gonna stop growing. So in addition to this gimme brow, I also have these ready set brow gels and something that I've wanted to do is like to make my brows for them to stand up on their own. But my brow, like the hair that grows is not gonna do that. So it's like, come on. Like wiping the highlighter off. Hell jer, hell jer. Hair gel for your eyebrow hairs. Ooh, that's a lot of gel. That's good. Okay. 
gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna use this color. Guess now I understand what blending, how important blending is. When I do my makeup like I did in 2009, since it's, I guess, 2018, that was 10 years ago, I'm afraid of being outdated. I remember when the red, I was coming first coming in, and of course I didn't like it because it also reminded me of like, it just seemed really costumey, like geishas. But of course now I can't really resist because everybody's doing it and I've been brainwashed. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna use this one because it's California and it's also a blush of some kind. I think it's supposed to smell good, which it does. That does not smell good. <laughs> the thing with contouring for me is what I've, the two things that I remember is one, my sister being like, what did you do to your nose? Why does it look dirty? <laughs> So I think that's what I try to aim for whenever I ah, do shit is not to make my nose look dirty. So I'm basically wiping my eyebrow stuff onto my nose. Hopefully that's not bad. Oh shit. And then also this, this one other girl, I could tell that she had contoured her nose like how I'm doing it right now. And I did not like think that that looked good. And that is also something that I try to stay away from. Also, I think I've kind of broken my nose before. So, so it's like not a line. I, th I think it would be great if I could figure out a way to make my nose look straight again. I don't know if it's possible, but that would be nice. I'm trying to contour my cheeks. And I think I also have nice cheekbones. So many colors to choose from. Which color would would I contour with? Let's try this again. Last, almost the last, is the lips, and I really like this thing that my sister had. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it tastes really bad. And these are the two-tone things. So I think the way that this was designed was the tip up here is supposed to be the liner, but I wanna use it like this. I have these mascaras. And the thing with me is when I curl my eyelashes, they don't really stay curled. I think the mascara kind of weighs it down more. <laughs> this is it. This is all. How do I feel about this? Would I do this for work? No. I guess it would be nice if I could put in a little bit of more work, but I feel like the work that I do is just showing up to the place. And I mean that as like, I think I'm a pretty great person and I bring diversity to that place. So it's already a lot of work for me to just exist. Thanks so much for watching and staying in the room and feeding me ice cream and i guess i'll see you some other time